This is a demonstration of the Forest Manufacturing Model 480P horizontal blade bandsaw. The 48 in the uh, 40, 480 stands for a nominal workpiece width of 48. That's the original name for the machine. But we can actually make these narrower or wider as need be. From the name, obviously, it has a horizontal blade. This machine is rather unique in its configuration in that the while the working portion of the blade here is above the table as you expect, the return portion of the blade is underneath the table. The original idea for this was to cut sheets of material off a large block. Say you had a block four foot by four foot by eight foot long, you might want to make a bunch of one inch thick sheets. You would set the blade one inch above the table surface, put your workpiece on the table, run the workpiece through to get your cut off the bottom. You then take the workpiece back to the head of the process, set it down and cut through again. This means you don't have to change the setting of the blade above the table surface. Now, of course, the blade height is adjustable. The machine has on both sides a ratcheting crank handle to raise or lower the blade as you see fit. The 480P is an evolutionary design over our old 480P. The P stands for pneumatic. This machine has an air cylinder for tensioning the blade. It has several advantages. First off, it makes it uh, very easy to set and maintain a constant blade tension. Good blade tension leads to long blade life and straight, accurate cuts. Also makes it easier to change the blade out when it goes dull. The standard system was a screw over spring system, which is reliable as an anvil. Um, but it's a little fussier to set and maintain a proper blade tension. This makes it fast and easy. Another advantage of the pneumatic blade tension is it allows us to add a blade breakage detector. The machine is such a, set up such that it knows if the cylinder strokes all the way out. So for example, if you break the blade, the cylinder will stroke all the way out. The machine knows that that is a fault condition and it will stop the blade motor from running. This particular machine is equipped with an upgraded version of our controls. You can have either a manual blade um, tension switch or electronic. This has the electronic um, solenoid valve. And we've incorporated some other features. So you have a, you, if the blade breaks, the motor stops or you can't start in the first place. If you don't have sufficient air pressure at all, we have an air pressure switch on here. If there's no air pressure um, present, then you cannot run the machine. And we have a flashing red light, which does what flashing red lights always do. It tells you something wrong. I also have a solid green light that tells you the machine is running. So you can tension and detension the blade here with a switch, start, stop. But it won't start if the uh, blade is not properly tensioned, if the blade is broken, if you don't have air pressure. The machine comes with three optional tables. The standard base model comes with a fixed table, as the table doesn't move. You put your workpiece on the table, you slide it across to make the cut. This is our light duty table. It's uh, steel wheels on steel rail, good for a couple hundred pounds to move lightweight workpieces through the saw. We also have a heavy duty table. It runs on, a, well, has a much stouter table, good for more than a thousand pounds of weight capacity. And with the heavy version of the table, we can add a powered table drive, variable speed powered table drive. So if you have something very heavy, delicate, needs a very fine control of the feed speed, you just turn the knob, push the button, and the table makes the cut for you. So that's all available. This is the medium duty table. Um, all these saws come as standard with a brake motor. This has been the standard machine has a two horsepower three-phase brake motor. This is upgraded to a five horsepower brake motor. We like the brake motor because when you press the stop button or if you break a blade or whatever, the machine stops now. You're not waiting on the machine to coast down, which would present a safety hazard. Uh, this machine is also equipped with roller guides. That's generally standard. We do do, we will use slider type guides for sticky materials and other applications. And it just wouldn't be a test cut unless, or wouldn't be a demo video unless we did a test cut. The material we have today is a high density mineral fiber insulation block. Normally, I do not recommend using gloves when working with bandsaws because on a, using a tooth style blade, they can snag and pull your hand in. Today, we're using a knife style blade. It presents very little risk to um, 
catching your glove and pulling you in, but it is just sharp. Um, also, the mineral fiber insulation is itchy, and I don't want to have to uh, run straight home and take a shower just because I'm itchy from dealing with this stuff. So, Fonzie, if I get your help here. Getting that in. Good. Yes. About right there. Put it up against that edge. Good. Thank you. I'm not running any dust collection right now. Um, this blade on this material will make better, as good as no dust. The blade is a one inch wide scallop edge knife style blade. It makes a beautiful clean cut on this material. So we start the machine, green light. Traverse the table. Traverse is just a fancy word for push. This is a high density material, so it does cut kind of slowly. Lift the uh, top portion off and set it down back to your right. Just set it down on the floor. Thank you. Mm. And a beautiful, clean, dust free cut. The machine can be used to cut insulation materials. And you cut mineral fiber, foam insulation. Um, it'll cut all manner of plastics. I have customers using cut plastic tote bottles, um, plastic storage bins. And uh, more information is available on our webpage. Or feel free to call or email us at Forest Manufacturing. Thank you for your time.